Import statement completions in VS Code can help you complete import statements in JavaScript and TypeScript files. You can sort of think about import statement completions as being like auto imports, but when you're actually writing out an import statement itself. So just as a quick reminder, auto imports let you go and write a symbol name. Um, so here, for example, if I start typing out render, you can see that I get all of these suggestions and some of these are actually coming from uh, different modules that I've installed. So I'll go select the one from React DOM. When I go and I accept the suggestion, you can see it's automatically gone and added the import. So that is auto imports. And again, import statement completions are going to do the same thing, but you're actually going to be writing the import statement itself. So let's go back up here. I'm gonna go and add a new import. So I'll just say import up here. And now I'm going to type the name of the symbol that I actually wanna import. So I'll say render here. And again, I'm gonna find the version of render that I actually want. So I want the one that's coming from React DOM in this case. So I'll select that one. And you can see that after accepting that, VS Code has gone and filled out the rest of the import automatically. So I didn't have to really think about how I was actually gonna import things. Um, I didn't have to really know the full path to the uh, library. VS Code just filled it all in for me. So this is really helpful. So when I go and import something such as report web vitals here, so let's go and import that for example. So again, I'll just type out import and then the symbol name that I'm interested in. So I'll say report web vitals. You can see I get a suggestion for that. It's even previewing what this is going to look like. I'll go accept that suggestion. Again, I didn't have to think about the path that I was actually going to import things from. And in this case, this was actually a default export and you can see that it did not add the braces around this. So it was smart enough to know that, hey, we can actually just use a default export in, or a default import in this case, rather than having to add the braces. Now, again, you probably wanna be using auto imports in most cases, they're just more convenient and you don't really have to think about managing your imports at all with auto imports. But import statement completions might be helpful if you ever find yourself needing to manually add an import. And you also just might be in the habit of going and uh, manually adding imports as well. And in those cases, the import statement completions can really speed up the process. Again, all you need to think about is the symbol name that you wanna import rather than thinking about the path or how it's actually going to be imported. So that's a quick look at import statement completions for JavaScript and TypeScript in VS Code.